Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily fix audio drift in DaVinci Resolve. Audio drift tends to happen over a longer period of time when you record with an external audio recorder and then you try to sync it up with your camera, but then you start to notice that over a period of time, the audio starts to go out of sync. Now, unfortunately, this is pretty normal, and this happens because your external audio recorder is recording just a little bit faster or a little bit slower than your camera. So here I have unedited video and audio from my Doubt Me podcast, and I'm gonna use this to show you as an example. Here I have the video track, and then the camera audio track is the native audio that came from the recording of the video. Then here, my second audio track is from the external audio recorder, which I use the Rodecaster Pro 2. The first thing you want to do to fix your audio drift is to make sure that you sync up your audio at the beginning. So if I zoom in here, you'll see I've already done that here. Yo, what's poppin'? It's the hyphen and welcome back to another episode of the Doubt Me Podcast. Today's special guest. So now when I mute the camera audio and leave only the external audio, you'll see that my external audio now matches with my video. Yo, what's poppin'? It's the hyphen and welcome back to another episode of the Doubt Me Podcast. Today's special guest. Now if I zoom out and go all the way to the end, before I even play this for you, you can actually see here that the audio is not in sync. Thank, well, thank you guys, you guys for watching. watching. Okay. Thank, thank you, Monica Torres. Torres. Thank you. Catch you guys on the next one. one. Peace. Peace. Now you can see that my external audio recording is more to the right, meaning that it's a little bit slower. To match the audio recording, it's gonna be very simple. Again, first make sure that your audio is in sync at the beginning. Zoom in towards the end of the clip. Go into the Fairlight tab. And if you need to zoom in a little bit more, you can here. I usually move my playhead towards the beginning of a noticeable sound. You're gonna right click on the audio file that you wanna match. For me, it's the recorder, which is the audio recorder from my Rodecaster Pro 2. Right click on that track, and then here in the options, go towards the middle and you'll see Elastic Wave. Click on that. And then when you go towards the end of the clip, if you move your cursor just a little bit to the left, you'll see this half bracket with what looks like little vertical bars, which I think are meant to signify a waveform. Once you see that tool, then click and drag either to the left or to the right to be able to match your audio. Again, not this tool, it's gotta be this tool once you click on Elastic Wave. So now I'm gonna click, hold, and now start to drag it. To my eye, that looks pretty accurate. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let go of the click on the mouse. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, and now I'm gonna go ahead and press play and see if they're in sync. On your wedding day, yeah, you did a kickflip in your wedding dress. It's a switch flip, yeah. A switch flip, yeah. that's right. Damn, I was like, that was the dopest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, that yeah, was it, so dope. It's funny, because... Um... And that's pretty much it. Now you can continue to make adjustments if you needed to, but if you are done, and you don't wanna accidentally change the speed again, just go ahead and right click on your track again, and then uncheck elastic wave and now that time stretching tool won't pop up so just a quick recap sync the beginning then go towards the end go to elastic wave and then stretch out the end to make sure that syncs up and now your external audio with your camera audio will be in sync you can go ahead and mute your camera audio and then now continue with your external recorded audio now, if you guys are interested in watching my Doubt Me podcast, I do have a whole bunch of really dope guests, pro athletes, Olympians, musicians, comedians, all types of people. Just search the Doubt Me podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. It also has its own YouTube channel. We're on Stitcher, pretty much every major podcast platform. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to fix audio drift in DaVinci Resolve. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.